At MABA, I'm showing a, a documentary called Wild Relatives, which is a film that's shot between Longyearbyen and Svalbard, which is an archipelago in the Arctic Ocean under Norwegian custody, and the Bekaa Valley of Lebanon. It's a series of uh, encounters between these two places that seemingly have nothing to do with one another, but that are connected through a transaction of seeds that's going between Svalbard and Lebanon. So, ICARDA is one of 15 institutions around the world that are part of the CGIAR, the Consultative Group of International Agricultural Research. And the purpose of this institution was to encourage a capitalist development of agriculture in the third world through the distribution of high yielding seeds, so modern seed varieties. So yeah, they keep a seed bank in order to have a genetic pool available for their breeding experiments. So the gene bank on the one hand is, has a purpose of preserving biodiversity, but it's also just um, raw material for creating new products which will be distributed in the market. Icarda seeds are collected from small farmers and from the wild all over the dry areas, which is a vast area. The Global Seed Vault is a, it's a vault. It's not an active. A seed bank like Icarda's. Uh, it's a vault for many, many seed banks around the world, which send backup copies of their own collections to the Global Seed Vault. In case of a local catastrophe, there's a backup collection. And it's ironic that the same mountain where coal was being extracted, um, coal being one of the main reasons of, uh, of the Industrial Revolution and the climate change as we know it today, has now become the same location where we preserve the world's seeds, the world's heritage of crop seeds um, from climate change. <laughs> of course, the starting point of the film is very large um, questions about the ecological change and the impact of industrial agriculture on farming communities, especially in Syria and Lebanon. I try to find kind of details of daily life that reflect these, these broader political issues and I, and I weave together uh, the stories of these different characters. So in Icarda we have the scientists, we have the directors, we have also the women who are working in the field. Uh, Walid is a Syrian refugee who's been living in the Bekaa for seven years with his family. Um, and he's very passionate about agriculture. And he's, in a way, the embodiment of the alternative to industrial agriculture. He keeps a collection of traditional seeds um, in a small clay house. And the seeds are exchanged with friends and anybody who wants to farm organically. Uh, so it's a very different concept of, of preserving seeds than, than the Global Seed Vault or Icarda's. Um, it's a much more small-scale and grassroots movement to, to maintain traditional forms of farming and also traditional varieties of seeds that are under threat of extinction because of the dissemination of modern varieties. Men du är forsker. Ja. Jag är präst. Alltså, vi präster blir av och till eh, anklagade för att vara domedagsprofeter. Kyrka har av och till varit domedagsprofeter och pekefingern och peker på, på slutet. Men hur ser du? Ser du någon? Så so this scene for me is is also thinking about what is this notion of doomsday and um, where is it coming from and to show that the priest and the scientist are both thinking about this notion of doomsday so science and religion are not necessarily separated as modernity wished to see it. 
and and it, the film is about cycles, cycles of life. So there's the cycles of the seasons, the cycle of the seed that has to die uh, in order to reborn again underground, and movement of human beings also and their survival. So it's it's also a film about survival in a sense. <laughs>